Hello and welcome. Today I want to do a mini energy clearing to release self-doubt and limitation. Limiting yourself from being the unique magic that you are and really thriving in all that you want to do in your life. So this will be just a little version of that, you know, um, I'll just channel whatever wants to come through around this topic of self-doubt and limitation. I'm Linda Armstrong, in case you're not used to me or you haven't been to my channel before. This channel is all about loving your life. And that's what I do, lovemylife.coach. I'm an energy healer and a spiritual awakening coach. And so, um, you know, I like to touch on everything to do with you loving your life, living your life to the fullest, releasing those things that are holding you back. And today, it came to me to do a quickie, or quickie, you know, I mean, when it's individual session, it can go deeper and deeper because other things will come up. So this is kind of like a blanket clearing around self-doubt and limitation. So what I would invite you to do is to just take a nice deep breath in. Gently, easily letting it out. So really connecting to your breath, which is you, which is, which is you. <laughs> Think about that. You're not just the body, your spirit is here. Your body's within your spirit and your breath is what brings it all together, right? So we're just gonna really feel that breath as you're breathing in, as you're breathing out. Imagine that as you breathe in, because this is what's happening, that breath, that life force energy is going into every single cell of your body. And so I want you to just imagine that as you're breathing in that love, that life force energy, that truth of who you are, that light, breathing in that light and having it go into every single cell of your body, releasing any lower energies that you've taken on through your out breath, right? So breathing in, breathing out, releasing those lower energies, just imagine them going out through the bottoms of your feet, right? And now imagine that with this in breath, you're calling back the energy that you've scattered out and about over the days, weeks, months, years, just calling back your own energy, bringing it right back into your body, into these very cells of your body. Yeah. So just feel yourself now as you start to expand. Because as you bring back more of yourself that you've scattered out and about, you can actually feel your energy start to expand. So I want you to imagine now that your energy is expanding out. Let's go easy. Let's go like 10 feet, right? 10 feet all around you in every direction, above you, below you. And then breathing in more of that beautiful life force energy and as you breathe out imagine that you're just expanding out even further so now we're going out 100 miles right 100 miles feel yourself expanding out and start to just imagine your energy just growing and expanding and just pulling in more that beautiful love from the universe and on your out breath, sending out that love. So just really be becoming and communicating with this flow of energy that's coming to you and through you, right? Pulling in the love and sending out the love. And the more that you can do this, even this little bit that we're doing right here, right now, every day, the more you raise your vibration and operate from that higher vibe of love, right? And so I'm also hearing just to remind you that whenever things are happening around you that, you know, pretty much hurt your soul, you feel it in your body, all you really can do about it is to send love, send love, send healing. And you can do that just with a thought, just sending that love. Okay. So we're just breathing in love, sending out love, really feeling the flow of the energy of the universe, you know, in the universe always wants to give to you. So you can pull energy in, and we'll just do that quickly too. 
pulling energy in from the universe, right? So we've been breathing in this love, right? But then what if we were to pull in confidence? So let's pull in that energy of confidence, pulling it into every single cell of our body, allowing it to expand out into the fullness of the truth of who you are. This energy that's way bigger than your body. Yeah, just breathing in, pulling from the universe, confidence. Yeah, and downloading to your body what it feels like to walk through your life step by step, feeling confident. So let's pull in this energy of what it feels like to be sure of yourself. Right, and anything that would prevent you and forbid you from being sure about yourself and your own desires and what is true for you. Let's uncreate and destroy all of that. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyond. So that's the access consciousness clearing. I'll probably do quite a bit of that. Okay, so any vows, oaths, decisions you've ever made that prevent you and forbid you from feeling sure, from knowing what is right for you, Let's just release all of that, just letting it go, right? And let's release all the energetic, mental, emotional ties connected to all of the times when you've doubted yourself. All of the times when you were not sure of which way to go or of your own abilities. Let's release all of those energetic, mental, emotional ties, releasing them, sending them to the light, right? Always remaining is those ties that were for your highest good. So we're only ever clearing what was not for your highest good. Because, you know, we have learned many lessons through experiences that we, at the time, did not think were the greatest, right? Yeah, so just continue to feel that breath, right? Pulling that breath in, this love, this light, this healing energy from the universe. Yeah. And any vows, oaths, decisions you've ever made that um, prevent you and forbid you from knowing your truth and expressing your truth openly and freely. Let's uncreate and destroy all of that, right and wrong, good and bad, pun and pock, woman and shorts, boys and beyond. So letting go of all those vows, oaths, decisions, letting go of all the energetic, mental, emotional ties to all of these experiences around that. Just letting it go, yeah. And anything that prevents you from seeing that the world is changing and that you now at this very moment can switch tracks to all of those things that you came here to this world to be, do, have, experience, explore, right? through these higher vibrations where things come easily, peace, love, joy. Yeah, so you can just switch tracks to that. So it's kind of like we now say no to everything in the past, right? When they want us to come up and hits us in the face, we do some clearing around it. So that's why today what I was feeling is that we just need to clear energies around doubt, self-doubt. This is to do with you specifically with yourself. Yeah. Okay, so I'm feeling something shifting here within my heart. So let's just go with that, right? Spirit sending a message. So any, all of those places where you shut down and closed off to sort of protect your heart, it's a misunderstanding, right? To go small is not protecting you. It's just because of that fear. So we want to release all the fear that is connected to you owning your truth, expressing that truth, knowing that if it comes to you and if it feels so strong within your body that it is true, and you are to express it and share it with the world, right? So these are allowing all of your gifts to come up, to come forward, those things that you kind of closed yourself off from because when you made yourself small, by putting up these walls around your heart for fear of being hurt, you limit so much of what wants to come to you. So right now, even just call in your guides, your angels, asking them to support you and help you, even if you're not even sure if they exist, they're there. They're waiting for you to ask them to assist you. 
right? So we're just asking all of our guides and angels to assist us in releasing these walls, these barriers to knowing your truth, to expressing it without doubt, without believing in yourself, in those abilities, right? So we want to uncreate and destroy everything that that is, everything that prevents you from knowing your truth and from really letting it out, really sharing it with the world. So start to feel that. You feel that? It's starting to open up, open up. And so, okay, so what I'm hearing here too is that what you want to do, let's just, let's create this little process within you that when you start to feel yourself closing down or when you're feeling someone's energy, because some people may not be able to handle you being your truth and that confidence. So we don't want to have outside influence shut down those walls, put those walls back, right? And shut you down once again. Instead, when you feel these energies coming towards you, because we're all becoming way more psychic and we're all able to en sense energy even more than ever before as the earth is evolving into this higher frequency. So what you do, this is what Spirit's saying, is you just call in the light. And just call just like we did in the beginning just calling in this love and this light and feeling it come within your heart center and just allowing it to glow so now you you're creating this beautiful field of light it's like a ball of light all around you but there are no walls no barriers no no edges no containers it's just this high intensity of this love and this light that you are and when you're being that light, when you're holding that light, anything that is of a more negative nature cannot penetrate. It just dissolves in the light. As it's coming in, it just dissolves. Because with this light, those lower energies cannot be. Wow. Okay, we're probably gonna leave this right here because that's all we needed to do. And that's what I'm hearing. That's all we needed to do today is just to really have you own your light. Call in more of that light, lifting yourself up, allowing you to start really believing in your own abilities, allowing you with the help of your guides and angels to start to see, sense, feel what you're called to do here and to do it freely to be able to express and share and shine your light. So everything, anything that would prevent that from being so, we now uncreate, destroy all of it, times a godzillion, right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys, and beyonds. And so now let's just feel this flow of this light, right? Feel that light, feel it as it comes in, and again, as you send it out, because as you're being that light, that's the only way you can help and assist and influence other people. You cannot make decisions for anyone. You cannot change really anything for anyone unless they are willing to. And by you holding that light, it allows them to open to possibilities, to be able to, it's kind of like a little crack happens and the light seeps in. And then they start their own journey, their own journey of this awakening, right? So by you being your truth, releasing any doubt about how special you are, how gifted you are, how loved you are. Yeah. You can just be that light and share it. So it's like, it's like, it's infinite, right? So as you're pulling that light in, like right now, this energy I feel is just, There's just no lack of it. It's just there. It's just so abundant. And we want you to feel that energy. Even if you need to listen to this a few times and really let yourself go with that. So whatever might, if, if there's anyone out there who's listening, who's still feeling a little blocked from allowing that light to come in, let's download for you from the creator what it feels like to know it is safe to be with the light. It is your truth and it is your right. Yeah. Just be that light. Feel that flow of energy. Oh, it's so beautiful. 
So I'm not even going to bring you back from that energy. You can come actually see I'm right here. I'm right present in present time, fully experiencing this light. So we're not going to like call you back from that. I want you to expand even more into it. And so I'm going to end this video right here. If you enjoyed this, if you could feel the energy, please comment below. Some people don't even know they could feel energy, but when they start to do things like this, they start to open to it. That's why I suggested that you could listen to it again and just be with the energy. All right, sending you so much love. Go out there, be the love, share the love, and uh, you know, let's make this world a better place, all of us together. Bye for now.